Ringing out today as they have through the long ages of our history, the bells of England sound their countless messages of warning, sorrow and rejoicing. To maintain this unfailing service calls for the highest craftsmanship. Here at the Whitechapel Bell Foundry, Big Ben was cast. So were the Bow Bells, all the bells of Westminster Abbey and many famous others. Here for nearly 400 years, bells which have rung all over the world have been cast, repaired and tuned. Pounded into shape by the automatic hammer, these clappers weigh anything from 28 pounds to 100 weight. They are the massive heartbeats of the bells they ring. Recently cast, these bells are ready to be tuned. The larger one is a tenor bell for St. George's Barkingside, the smaller is for a church in Jersey. Tuning is a highly specialized job. First, the inside metal of the bell has to be paired until the right thickness has been obtained, and then the bell is tested over a range of two octaves by calibrated tuning forks. A vertical lathe is used to pair the metal, a job which once was done by hammer and chisel. Although the fundamental principles of bell making are unchanged, they are still made of four parts copper to one part tin, modern techniques make for less labor and greater accuracy. After a rough test with the mallet comes a delicate sounding with the tuning forks. The tuner is William Hughes, a member of the family which for generations has owned the Whitechapel foundry. An old British craft lives on, creating and maintaining an accepted part of our national life. The bells in our churches and cathedrals, which are forever ringing the changes on our daily activities. The bells which toll us in and toll us out. <laughs>